Hi, my name is Wendy Holden and I am the Growth Group Director at Foothills Bible Church in Littleton, Colorado. I'm excited to spend this time with you today. You know, sometimes we learn life lessons through hard knocks and sometimes we learn them through soft taps, meaning we get to learn through other people's hard knocks. However, most often the two really reinforce one another. I certainly have had to learn some hard knocks in life, and I've learned a thing or two through other people's tough lessons as well. As difficult as it is to both experience and to hear about difficulties in life, the truth is that we are not alone in the fight, and that thought alone can bring great comfort and bolster our will to keep going. Desert experiences, what I typically call times of extreme life challenge, can leave me feeling desperately alone, perplexed, angry, depressed, or just plain afraid. These times are certainly not fun, and I for one would not raise my hand to volunteer to go into a desert experience. However, when I find myself in that place, sometimes I wonder just how many times I have to go around this block. And it's not for the scenery, that's for sure. At times, I also, it also crosses my mind that I'm the only one in the history of humanity that keeps taking the wrong turn at the fork. While I was chatting one day with a good friend of mine named Sandy, I was comforted to know that I was not the only person that had been to the desert again and again. From the onset of our relationship, Sandy had lived through some very challenging times of caregiving for her husband during the last part of his life and then grieving the loss of him, and then learning all of the new difficulties of being widowed. A few years had passed from all of that at the time of our conversation, and yet again, she found herself in a very physically and mentally taxing time of being a perfect match to be a bone marrow stem cell donor for her sister. Once again, life threw her into a time where she had to go into low gear and climb a steep and lonely hill that was long and effortful. It could be that you are finding yourself in a desert experience, maybe for the first time, maybe for the millionth time. But here are a couple things that I want you to hear today. First, I've said it already, but it's worth saying it again. You are not alone. We all walk through these desert experiences multiple times. We journey together as people, and we journey together with God right by our side. Isaiah 41.10 says to us, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Second, one of the reasons why God calls us into the desert time and again is that he is forever growing us into a dependency of him, not ourselves. Paul, a man who asked God to remove a weakness from him three times penned this verse in 2 Corinthians. But he, meaning God, said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Remembering that we are not alone and that God is our strength when we are weak, we do not need to fear the desert. In fact, I would love for you to reframe that thought of difficult or desert-like experiences to be times of richness, growth, deepening dependency on a God who will not fail you and wants to show you his love and care for you personally. It is my prayer that this is an encouragement to you in your faith as you seek out purpose and meaning of these most peculiar times of 2020. See you next time.